Okay guys, welcome back. That is right. Literally, I just never turn anything off. I just exactly resumed, but it's just the video so long that what's going to happen is you guys are going to get bored, and if I don't have it in two separate videos, then um, you won't want to build this whole thing. So, one thing I can, if I can tell you guys, one, one trick I can tell you guys is game development, it takes a while, guys. It takes a long, long time. It, may, it took me, oh my god, how long did it take me? Um, if you go to my Deviant Art page or De 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 Deviant Art page or something like that, so I have the link on my channel. If you go to that, um, you'll see I made this one image of uh, like this bicycle Tour de France thing. Uh, it was a great race that was going on, so I was just like, okay, I'm inspired. And that image took me like eight hours to make. All those models, all those things. Oh my god, that was a long, long time to make that thing. But it was well worth it because it looks so, so good. Anyways, um, okay, so a little detail if you guys are paying attention is the door. What's wrong with the door? Well, the colors are all off, right? The colors are a little bit funky. Uh, let's select this right here. And then deselect that. Okay. What did I just do? C, deselect that. And what's up with the door is that the colors are off. So if we do... What color was the door? It's like a red, so we'll do the red that was at the bottom. So there you go, looks looks pretty good. So now let's make the windows. Shift A, cube, scale on the Y. You don't have to, but it just, you know, I just like, it's just a thing I do. Uh, from here, we're gonna do some, uh, we're gonna do an I, we're gonna press I, invert, then we're gonna subdivide, then we're gonna select each one of these, and then we're gonna invert those as well. Like that. See how we just made like that window shape? Now we're gonna loop, cut, and slide. And we're gonna do it right on the line there. Oh, yep, that's fine. It's fine if we do this one because we have to make the window cross anyways. Like that, and then the other one we'll do at the bottom. Like that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do Z, C, select this whole window. Bring it out. It's we got to bring it out because we got to do a little bit more editing to it. Um, we're gonna see what color was the windows there. It was like a, it was a little bit of a brown. I noticed it was a little brown. Yeah, it was brown. Okay, so it's gonna be the same brown that we're gonna put for uh, the door as what we did. So the whole window is now brown, which is fine. It's good. It's it's not a big deal. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these and we gotta make these blue because the window is blue if in low poly. It's just how it works. Like that, we can make it a little darker blue, it's fine. Turn the specular off. So now we have a basic little crappy window, but we have to add the little details here. Um, we're actually gonna take these and we're gonna extrude them in, like that, and we'll select, yeah, actually, you know what, we're good. That looks good, see how you can see the cross now? Before, it was just brown, see, it looked really cheesy. And then, what was our history? Let's do redo, there you go. See now how it adds like this little look to it that looks really good? Now there is ambient occlusion on this building right now. If you took it off, it would look a little bit less cartoon-like. See how you can see the edges? I'll show you guys how to do that a little bit later. Um, let's do this. Let's put that ambient occlusion back on after. Yes, turn that back on. Okay, now the windows in the picture, there is two in the front and one on the left. So we're gonna put two in the front and one on the left. Bring this down. Kind of want to show the little box a little bit. See that? You can see that? Okay, we'll bring this window down right here. We'll do Shift D on the X, drag that out, bring it this way. The window's already going into the building already, so rotate Z 90. Good. Bring it in so you can just barely see the window's vertice. Bring the window there. Shift D on the Y. Second window there. So now the house already looks just super sexy. That looks really nice. Looks very similar to the one that we were building right there. Um, the stairs is a little bit bigger, but it's fine. Um, now we need to add another door. We, we we have a door. We'll just copy that one, put it there. We gotta add these this little blue thing at the front. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do tab this. We're gonna look forward this way and do Z, and then select this whole door, and then you will be able to select these faces in the front and remove them after. There you go. So now shift D on the X, bring the door down like this. 
bring it down, rotate Z 90, bring it in, bring it this way, kind of pull the door out a little bit, bring the door up like that, is this straight, there we go, wait, what just happened? There you go. Now the door's there. That looks really, really good. Now, let's add the let's add the little the little uh, brown squares. It's fine. We can add that. It's it's not a big deal. Um, we need. I always like to do this in edit mode. The reason why is because it's it makes it easier. You don't have to to do all that stuff, um, the parenting and all that stuff for the thing. So let's just do that. Assign that. This is. This is a decent size square, so we'll keep this that square size. Just 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 space it out as much as you think. Don't forget, in real life, these houses have um, almost like a they they just space them out evenly on things. So on the Y, this way, kind of pull it out a little bit. Shift D on the Y. Don't make it look like it's made. It was made on a computer. Make it look natural. Make it look really natural like that. That looks good. We'll worry about the back a little bit later. We don't really have time to be doing that right now. We got to put this a little up. Shift D on the X. 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 And then we'll do Shift D on the... It's nothing. We're just going to grab. Just let it be. Poke it out. Same level as the other ones. Shift D on the Y, Shift D, oh, Shift F. What did I just do? Oh, I just put the camera there. Shift D on the uh, on the Y. It's a little trick. You know how you zoom in, watch, see how my thing is getting messed up right now? Like you lock to a certain distance. You can't go any further. Shift F, and you know you can move further now. It's a face and a face here, which is not good. It's not really that great. But this is like if you're playing the game, you're gonna be like, see this like little black. Um, noise that's the um, ambient occlusion on there so let's, let's go out of here it's like that looks good looks really good that looks nice like really really nice I'm in love with this house man anyways one five Z okay let's do the ladder and then let's add this this little hatch at the top what am I doing? Okay. Let's add that ladder. So we're going to do put the thing there. For the ladder, it's fine if we have it um, not um, on the edit mode. It really doesn't matter what you do, but it's fine. Scale on the Y. Scale on the X. Scale on the Y again. Scale on the X. There we go. It's like a little twig. Tab. Bring this up. Like that. Sh select the whole thing. Shift. D, rotate Y 90, scale X, bring that out like this, shift D, Z, shift D, Z, shift D, Z, shift D, Z, um, shift D, rotate Y 90, I probably should have made the other one first, take that, it's already been done on the bottom already, so just... No, it hasn't. Sorry. Take that. Pull that up. Just, and just. It's natural, guys. We make a natural, natural ladder. See, it looks nice. And what we're gonna do is um, tab. Select the whole thing. Tab again. Shift. Control J. Adds that color. But we're since we selected the whole thing, we're good. We're actually gonna scale it on the Z. Make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna. Whoa, whoa, what's, what's going on here? Damn it. Okay, so some, for some reason this was selected. So scale Z, bring that up, bring this down, rotate X, like that. There you go. Keeping it natural, guys, keeping it natural. I don't like that there's this little thing here. Um, I kind of I forgot that there was this little spot there, but it's fine. We can leave it there. It's not a big deal. File, save, tab. Let's make that brown like everything else. Which looks really, really nice. That looks just super sexy. And then we'll, um, I noticed the stairs is a little bit, see there's a space for the barrels, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. So at the top here, we'll add our hatch. We'll do tab here. 
we'll do subdivide. We'll subdivide a couple of times. This is where the hatch is going to be. So we'll in invert. We'll do this. We'll extrude on the Z. Actually, on yeah, extrude on the Z. See how you can kind of see that? It's not that great, but it's, it's it's a good example. Then we'll do some loop cut and slides. Like that. That's six on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we're going to select this, 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 that, this, this. Basically what we did with the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That'll, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And we'll bring that. Yeah, see how what happens when you don't do it in groups of three? That's what happens when you don't do it in groups of three. So this, that, th this, this. Okay, so what, what what's going on here? Let's do this one instead of that one, that one. Okay, so looks like it's going to have to be like that. And we'll take this. See how you can kind of see it better now? See, that's a, that's a decent hatch. It's nice. It's not great, but it's a decent hatch. Save everything. Every time you do it, guys, save, 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 save. So if you look at the hatch that this guy made, it's it's kind of a little bit of a darker brown, or lighter brown, I meant. And we'll probably recolor that when we do the... Um, and you'll see in the lighting, it'll make everything look so nice in the game engine, in the actual game engine. You'll see. You'll see. Don't worry. That'll be in our next video. Um, let's make these bar barrels, and then we have to just make this uh, front nice. It's really, really nice. Uh, I guess the front looks a little crappy. So let's do a loop, cut, and slide, and we'll do it right on the door line. Another loop, cut, and slide on the door line. Extrude. Oh, no, sorry. Um, well, actually, gonna, we're going to pull it out like this. I actually would rather pull this out. Select this. File, or not file, no. Um, make this a darker color tab. Look at that. See, that looks that looks better. It's better than just having this little thing that sticks out of the, the ground. So then we'll do um, a loop, cut, and slide on the door. No, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to use the knife. Knife it right across. It's fine. It's, it's fine like that. And then we'll do another knife right above it like this. Press the space bar. Select that. Grab this. Extrude. Kind of bring it down a little bit. And we'll make this whole thing like this. The whole thing blue, like the windows. That looks good. Looks like it has a nose. It's got like a mouth, a nose, and like a chin. It's really weird. Yeah, it's got it's the same. It's the same as that one is. Um, and then we'll, we'll add the, the crates now. So crates are very simple to make. Just shift A, cube, and then make sure you scale it down. It's a little too big, so scale that down. There you go. Tab. The whole thing has to be subdivided. So you can get a really nice shape. We're gonna do is we're gonna do this and some of this, and you'll see what'll happen here. Kind of want to shape the the crate like that, like this. So we're doing like a double side right now. So that, there's a better way to do it, I'm sure, but this is just what I'm doing right now. Like this, yeah. Um, let's bring this whole thing up. Take this, take this. Since this is just going to be on the top of the building, we really don't worry about what the color is going to look like. You know, you know what I mean? Like on the other side, like that. Double side that, double side this, and then we'll go ahead and do new specular down. We'll make this, we want to make it a little darker, like this. Make this darker, more like a black. And this one, Shift G Material, because we made it a different material. Of course, this is specular. I don't want that. This material needs to be brown. So, oh, look at that. That looks nice. That looks decent. Um, I made the squares a little too big, but it's fine. So we'll do Shift D on the X, Shift D on the Y, bring that up. Just until like it's kind of in the box, but it's fine, and then bring that a little bit up like that. That looks good. Shift D on the Y, bring that down like that. 
There you go. Shift D. Just kind of grab it and bring it over. Just it doesn't matter where your mouse goes. And it looks like there might have been some crates like around here. This kind of reminds me of that Responsibles game. Shift D on the X. Shift D on the X. Here you go. Add like little crate details, little tiny crate details. And now let's make a barrel. So shift A, cylinder. Now what you do with the cylinder is this. You bring it up, tab, loop, cut, and slide on the whole barrel itself. Scale it. Bring it out. Bring it out like that. Select the top. Bring that up. Select the bottom. Bring it down. And then what you do is you, oh, actually, then take this, like this, loop, cut, loop, cut. Barrel's a little stubby, which is not great, but you gotta, yeah, there you go. See that? Kind of looks like a, a barrel cactus, but it's not, it's actually, it doesn't look like a barrel already. Kind of scale that in like that. It's, yeah, it's the, it's a, it's a very simple barrel. I definitely have made way better ones. This is kind of like off the fly here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to select the house and take these faces here extrude them out like if there's like a little ground here put the barrel down we'll select the barrel take the whole color new assign specular off bring this down make it darker go a little bit too yeah like that make it a little brighter that's fine so we got a barrel there kind of bring it down shift D on the X we can add like little black lines in the barrel if we wanted to but it's fine we look at how the, the thing is set up. See these little black lines the barrels have? So the, okay, and then the radar dish will do, and then we wanna add another barrel there. We wanna add maybe a crate down over here. There we go. Bring this up a little bit like that. And then the shift D, rotate Y90 over here. Bring it down a little bit like that. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to um, connect everything. So shift, select everything. It's especially very important for games because um, it can mess your whole object up if you move the thing. Select the house, control J. Now everything is now selected to the house. So if I move the house, everything is now on the house that I built. Very, very nice. Man, I really want to do this. We might add this to our unturned series, this building. It would be really, really interesting if I added that. It's really nice, this thing. Um, that's great, right? Let's forget about the radar disc. I kind of, I, I think it stands out from the building. I don't know why that's there. I just never had any interest in making it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a plane. And we'll do that at the next video.